Hey everybody, and welcome back to a bit of a weirder redstone video this time. Um, I just designed a circuit to help feed a project that I'm working on, and uh, I thought it might be useful for other people to check out. Um, it's the first time I've really had to make something tileable, so I really enjoyed the uh, the challenge, and I just thought, yeah, we could uh, maybe take a look at it now. Um, what you are looking at here is a food system, but what's actually really cool about it is the fact that you can trigger uh, up to five items that can all have different effects. Um, and by different effects, I mean they can all have different outcomes, as in you have an item filter set up, and in this item filter it's got red blocks, it's got blue blocks, it's got uh, green blocks, it's got red blocks. And then each one of those goes off and does its own thing. Um, so from a single item input or from a single button press, you can trigger up to five actions to take place, uh, which I thought was really cool, um, considering it's vanilla. Um, how I've used this in this instance is that uh, I don't need five actions, I only need three. And uh, I'm just going to put a cookie in here. And I've added some sound so that we can hear exactly what's going on. And basically what we've seen just now is that uh, all 23 items left and went off and performed their own actions uh, which were demonstrated by the different sounds and now they're being sent back to where they belong and just to give you an idea of how this works I'm going to shoot off over here and uh, show you where the original design came from so essentially I wanted different foods to uh, to perform different actions so in this case you would push the button and it would get sent off and perform different actions depending on whatever it was that uh, that happened and then they got sent back to where they came from and uh, essentially I've, I've squished this down now um, into a tileable design so that uh, if you have a button press over here what happens is uh, you activate this piston which unlocks the hopper below allowing items to flow through uh, this gets powered it's a comparator right here which keeps the piston on until it's empty um, and then the items are free they roam around in the system and they do whatever they're supposed to do and then once that's empty once this hopper is empty here what happens is, is uh, it unlocks here it does not have the signal strength to reach here and it unlocks the hoppers on top so that the items go back into the correct slot. Just to show you that now, um, we can take a look at whatever's in here. And we've got uh, 12, 8, uh, a purple, and a 2 there. And I'm just going to clear my inventory. There. And uh, if I push, I think it was this one, see that it just triggers this right here. And that allows the items to flow out and then we'll find them down here they go off to do whatever action you have them pre-programmed to do by item filter and then we tell them to go back in now obviously this hopper is the last one in the line um, but these ones are locked so they flow over it not into it and you can see once it reaches 23 the signal strength is strong enough to reach this torch turn on this torch power this and stop this here um, so yeah I really hope that uh, you get some use out of this design I think it'd be pretty cool um, for to see the different applications that you have for it and uh, please let me know if you have any questions and I have this saved as a schematic as well if you like to use it that way and then just to uh, give you an example of it working again and we're doing it over here um, this is still a work in progress at the moment. And basically what we're going to do is put an item in here. Uh, it goes into a pulse extender just to make sure that the pulse stays on for long enough to unlock it. Um, and then the items are going to flow into here. 
into this stream have their individual actions performed and then be sent back up and there's a couple of things in between more just uh quality stuff so put in my cookie here see that it triggers this this now is unlocked because it's not strong enough it starts to perform the different actions that it can do blocks are just for demonstration they won't be there every time you add an item <laughs> and then once they're filled they start to go in here and then because this is the only open unlocked one here it's gonna get sent in yeah like I said I hope you get some use out of this circuit it'd be very cool uh, I suppose I'll end on the shot of the sideways if you want to pause it so you can see very clearly yeah, so again, thanks very much for watching and uh, take care and hopefully see you in the next one.